Welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we got our hands on whatever this wall hanging is. It's kind of neat. I like it. I want to start off this episode by uh, <laughs> giving a shout out to uh, Roshan, who left a comment saying, Just wait until we find out that these blobs aren't that at all, but are in fact symbiotes looking for hosts, and the boy is just too young for his symbiote to accept him as one just yet. <laughs> I like that. This whole time, Blobbert has actually been albino venom. <laughs> Oh boy, end of the caves. I guess this is the one that emerges onto the surface, but then we'd just be in the forest again. Hmm. I have no idea what's going to lie beyond that. Like I said, I never got past the caves. The fuck? Oh. That oh, doesn't seem too difficult, I just see. Yeah, I got the hole, so we can make that happen. We've also got the parachute, the anvil, the jack, the trampoline, and the balloon. Oh. Right above the button. Yes! Bob. Wait, why is parachute needed? We come up or down? Maybe we came up. Okay, so we're probably supposed to go down right now. That does not help me at all. Hurry! I held it just a touch too long. Oh shit! I was very close to falling to my death. Why? How could I forget? Ooh. Better. No! That would have been very embarrassing after all that. Oh no. You know what? Yeah, I probably should have gone above them, because it looked like there was something off to the side. Oh, hey. Sorry, Billy. It's been fuck like 30 years since I've seen a commercial for Connect 4. And it wasn't even the right number in the commercial that was 3 in a row. But the moment I said that's 2 in a row, a voice in the back of my head shouted, "Go for one more." Calm down. Oops. Let's go. That's, that's the opposite of what I want to do. Okay. I kind of need you up here, buddy. Imagining that during the pandemic, uh... oh, that's a background element. I thought that was like a giant ooze or something. Criminy. Well, I hope it's a foreground element actually, because I don't know. How to... Oh, that guy down there. Before we ruin that guy's day. I'm sorry. How the fuck am I meant to do that? Can I drop down through this? 
I don't think so. No. Okay. I don't think there's anything on the other side except for the... Wait a minute. Oh, it's not a door. It's just a, the texture in the, the wall there. Uh, yeah, let's get back up there. Not ideal. Okay. Hurry. Sorry, little guy. All right, what am I meant to do there? Shit. He doesn't move fast enough to ever get us past that guy in time, so I need to blow that guy up. Does it make a difference up here? I mean, obviously I can't hit him with the anvil from up here. Jesus, do not eat the anvil ones on the way up! This way. I wonder if I could get this on top of him. Nope! Hey. No, he really wants that one. I mean, that is kind of funny, but... I should check. No, it is a background element for sure. Would you stop doing that? I feel like I'm going to get squished. Shame I can't have it in front of that guy. Piss. This way. If I could have it in front of him, I'd be a full head shorter. And he'd just push it along. No, wait, he would just run into it and turn around. Shit. Like a red Koopa Troopa. It's funny, I always thought that the uh, the green ones just walked off cliffs because they were stupid. Oh, that didn't work. The original Japanese manual, uh, not the Japanese manual, the original manual said uh, that they are recklessly fearless. This obviously won't work. I mean, it's going to hit the, uh, the wood bits and then fall straight down. Can't do that. position to use the jack because there's spikes on the ground. I can't... Man, I can't do jack shit about this. Uh, the trampoline is useless. Not helpful. No. Hmm. This sucks.
Oh, you're still a trampoline, my bad. I guess it faded just before we got there. Sorry, buddy. Yes, I could turn him into... Okay, you held that. Shit, this is actually really tricky. Okay, it's definitely not the parachute, because that just makes me fall slower. I don't think it's the trampoline because I don't see any benefit to bouncing, and I don't know that I could survive in there anyway. I will find out. How far can I jump? Like that? Probably not. Not too far. And it looks like the spikes should hit me anyway. Okay, let's do something different. Except we have to wait for that guy to come back. So this is the part where I'll mention that uh, it occurred to me just today that uh, the last time I played a game with proper puzzle bosses in it where it's not really a fight, it's a puzzle, might have been Teslagrad. And, uh... Until I played God of War, that was the game that had the most number of takes on a single boss fight. Go forth, Blobbert. Ride your mighty steed! Here's what I'm doing. It's, uh, Recon. I saw something in the background there, and I don't quite like that. Only I had a gun, Jellybean. Yeah, right. I think there was a cannon in the opening cutscene, but that seems it's probably more for, uh... Given, yeah, given that Billy was a projectile, it's probably more for getting around. Stupid question. I just needed to make sure. Okay. It's not that. Like, it's not- Oh, you- You started the animation one frame before you touched the spikes, and it didn't count as killing you. Oh yeah, you guys. Hmm. Shit! Twice. You miss your own mouth. Um, crap. Okay, I took a peek. Didn't check any other puzzles in this level, just this one. I'm still working on the execution. I've actually tried this a couple times already. Ah! Damn it! Yeah, you have to do a running jump, is the idea. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna leave that one, call it proof of concept. Uh. Ha! Screw you, buddy!
Oh no. Well, that is a problem. Shit. How in the fuck am I meant to do that? I mean... No, I can't have him be the anvil, because I had needed to get him off of the little blob dude, and I couldn't... Yeah, there was no way I could do that without standing on top of the blob, so... kind of hoping the uh, jelly bird to turn into a uh, balloon. Please no. Ugh. Hurry, Blobbert. This is our moment. I did figure out what I need to do anyway. Still screw you. The beast is gone. I think the blob we're standing on, I think his legs are rotating, not, you know, walking. Blob. Let's solve this puzzle using the blue one. Sorry, bird. It needed to be done. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, that doesn't help. Fine, no bouncing. No! Now I'm back over here. Ugh. I can't even spin rapidly back and forth like I often can in 2D games to show my frustration. Eh, almost, but you can't really do it as fast as I would like. I just wanted that guy to die. Stepped right onto it again, as if I had learned nothing. No, oh, jeez, I was trying to look down. Sorry, bird brain. Huh. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be super pissed if this doesn't work. Okay. Oh. Oh, crap! Okay, I severely underestimated him. Although the timer did just go. Alright, fine. 
I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. Oh. We'll continue making our way across this level, and probably get into a boss fight with the beast. Later.